basketball to really be entertaining, let alone if it, I'd rather watch bowling. Nah, that's still pretty entertaining. Women's volleyball is like, that shit gets volleyball. intense. Women's volleyball is definitely better, but. That's what I'm saying. So, that's all I'm saying. Like, women's, women's soccer volleyball. is a thousand times better than American men's soccer. I would never be caught dead watching a men's soccer match in America. I'd much Anyways. rather watch women's soccer. Because it's actually better. Anyways. That's not sexist. So can you just set up the fucking thing? This is why God I damn. didn't. This well, is why I didn't. Everybody called me sexist, and I'm like, wow, you're just saying shit. You're you not are, but go ahead. I'm that, actually, I'm not. I just, you are, but go I'm ahead. I'm really not. All but right. okay, fine, whatever. Uh, so Because you haven't said dozens oh of other God. misogynistic, problematic ass shit in the history so of the you. show. So have you. No, you've definitely but trimmed like, it. You've definitely like quadrupled. No, I have. You've definitely you qu- quadrupled. No, I didn't. You've definitely quadrupled my nope. misogyny. Nope. Yes, you lying, have. lying. You're omitting your whole college years. You're lying. You didn't even know me in college when I was in a frat. First of all, so stop speaking on shit you don't even and know. And when you said when second I was in a of frat, all, bro, we did wild shit. All, Second of all, a frat? second of all, you don't know what happens in a frat because you weren't in a frat. Yeah, so but you like stop alluded. speaking on shit you don't know. Okay, cool. Yeah, frat, I can allude about a lot of shit. I could be bow wow challenging. You don't fucking know. You don't know what I was doing. You weren't even on fucking campus, bro. Did you, did you Holy shit! He said bow wow challenging. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! I'm just oh. saying. You don't he know what just, the fuck I was doing. You weren't there. Shit. Just, he said bow wow challenging. I'm done. I'll speak on your Elko days. Mind your business. Juco Get day. back to the topic. We're worried about that Juco. Get life. back to the topic. Juco was fun though. But nah, in all seriousness. So uh, <clears throat> speaking of going on a tangent. So Dana White was pretty much recording his conversation with Tom Brady on his IG live, giving him one last pitch saying, You need to come to Vegas and be a Raider. Is that a touchdown? What the fuck? Wait. Touchdown or a turnover? Holy turnover. shit, this motherfucker doesn't even know the game. <laughs> this, is, this is why I'm the inmate. This is why I'm the inmate. Right here. Wow, I totally bought that. I'm going to say it's a touchdown because why not? I think clearly Tom Brady is doing this whole PR shit. He's, he's running the circuit right now. Because when was the last time we heard from Tom Brady this much? Twitter? Never. Twitter? Yeah, but like this whole past year, yeah. like True. outside of that, he's been really, you know, head to the ground, working, getting better type of shit. Whatever he does, not even eating avocados. Bro, he's like 47. And now he got some How opinions. How much better is he getting? Now he got some opinions on everything. Now he's he's in all these circles, flexing all these contacts he has and all these people he talks to. But... You mad at the stunt? I'm not mad at it. That's why I said it's a touchdown. He's he's trying to stay relevant. He's trying to finesse more money out of Bob Kraft. And, well, I don't think any of us have a problem with that. I mean. I was going to make a. Dana's from a Boston. Massage prof, a, a massage joke. It was implied. Yeah. You got it. It was, it was implied and, and, and yeah. Kind of, kind of rub that one in there. Anyway. So, when it comes to that, I would say it's a turnover. Like, bro, he's not going to the Raiders because of Dana White. By the way, Dana White's from Boston. So, it's really awkward to kind of, like, pitch him to Raiders. But really, that's just, he has well, money isn't in like Vegas. isn't, like, the UFC and all that, like, yeah, they, they're, as they're a they're big all, thing. So, that's extra together. money. Yeah, they so run, he's, they run big. That's what I'm saying. Like, he sees yeah, as being Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maker. It's like, I get why he's doing it. But it's like, bro, it's all just a money play. If he goes mm-hmm. to Vegas, it's a money play. They're not a, the Raiders are not a championship football team right now. So you rather see Tom Brady stay as much as you him, and people hate the away. Patriots. You rather so you want him to disappear? But I'm saying you rather see him stay with the Patriots. I'd rather him go to the Chargers or the Titans or. But what if he's? But what if the options are either he? Goes to the Patriots or I just don't want him on the Raiders. He goes to the Raiders. Just don't yeah, think it's don't a good fit. It's it's a bad fit. I you're gonna pay the forty. You're gonna pay it the almost fifty. <laughs> it's, oh, I'm done. The ra- the Raiders. The Raiders. <laughs> the Raiders. <laughs> I'm done. The I'm done. Is that an AAF team? We're toasted. I mean, wow, you actually hit the right button. I'm proud. You don't think you don't think he can bring like. Start a not start a legacy, but Does start he play something. Defense? He's forty seven. Start something. He I mean, I don't know. Like, 
it's like it's like when you hear stories about like a dude who's like eighty getting a twenty year old pregnant. What? Why? Anyways, you never heard those stories. Anyways, it happens. Let's, so Mike Adams retired. Sixteen years, former Indianapolis Colt, and like eight hundred teams, thirty career interceptions. Is that a touchdown or a turnover? Touchdown for his career. I mean, he has two pick sixes for a dude who wasn't supposed to amount to anything and was a trash in Madden. <laughs> his rating was like in the fifty eights, bro. That shit was disgusting. <laughs> ah. was Woo! Shit was filth. <laughs> White Woo. hot filth. Made his way as a safety. Just goes to show you, you can run a four eight or run a four six or be slow as shit and play safety. You just have to be smart. You want to sacrifice your body? So you're telling this whole draft class to watch my out of save. You ran anything slower than a four six four? A four? You ran anything slower than a four six flat? Pink me. That's the tight end. I know. I just wanted to throw like you on the bus nine. again because yeah, you bad low for two with with uh, rush crushes this year. <laughs> Did you say rush crushes? Yeah, whatever. Drop crushes. I'm sorry. This man can't talk or spell today. All right. True form. True form, Pete. Joe Burrow's going to the actual physical NFL, NFL draft in Las Vegas. Is that a touchdown or a turnover? I'm going to answer first. It's a fucking touchdown. God. Because what says Las Vegas more than Joe Burrow smoking a cig- cigar right after he gets announced as the number one pick floating in that big ass fountain in front of the Bellagio? Shout ball, out to Joe Cool. That's some baller shit. He got to show up with like a crown on his head so he can come up more lines <laughs> on a t shirt that they'll sell on Crenshaw and Slauson forever. <laughs> like, he got to he gotta come out to the song Big Pimpin'. And last but certainly not least, the Senior Bulls moving to South Alabama officially is at a touchdown or a turnover to Kenny. Touchdown for the Senior Bowl, turnover for, Lee, for the people, you know, who are right. Next to the stadium, Lab People Stadium, because they want to keep that local, a lot of money to the area. But South Alabama is a much nicer campus, so I mean, you know, business is business. It's just a better overall field and everything. So you got to advance with the times. Shout out to Jim Nagy; he's doing great things with the Senior Bowl. So some good news: the Tennessee Titans donated a million after the tornado hits. Um. Other XFL college football updates you want to share, Kenny? So the D.C. defenders have been on like a, a two-game losing streak ever since they lost to the L.A. Wildcats. They got thrashed 39-9. And they were supposed to be like the best team. They were undefeated until, you know, they, they got whipped and exposed. Um, and so their defense has given up like 60 points in the past two games. And they are over 60 points. And so they pretty much cut former first-round pick out of Florida, Matt Elam, safety, who was like the 22nd overall pick to Baltimore like four or five years ago. And he's one of the people who got cut from that XFL team. And their defense was really porous. So, yeah, XFL news. So Why is it so quiet? Yeah, I was like, are y'all okay? Are you going to have another CFB note or anything else? Because that's about Nothing it. Nothing really happened in college football. All right. I thought you were going to shout out that, that Alabama coach that got into the Oh, yeah. Off. I forgot about that. So, former yeah, Auburn so head coach. Yeah, trying to set this dude up, and, and he hits the, <laughs> the alley-oop on the head. I forgot, bro. Y'all smoking too much. What y'all smoking on? Why are you <laughs> yeah. First off. Yeah. <laughs> Who said we, we can't were... just be dehydrated? We can't just have a no, long week? Yeah, we can't do it. We're going to have just that long week? Y'all smoking that shit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> First off, you say we smoking. Y'all smoking that shit. You are here. You be smoking that shit. Yeah. You be late. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> How dare she? How dare she? Me? Yeah. What? Late and high. Yeah. Me? Two Never. minutes early is on time. Stop. Nah, you were on time. It was like 8.33 when you got nah, out. Okay, like but you guys didn't press we play. Like, we were ready to go for like 10 minutes. We were just talking. Waiting on you. Anyways, I'm here. <laughs> Alright, so fuck y'all. I'm here. Fuck with y'all. I'm here. That should be your LinkedIn headline. I fuck with y'all. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> she got that on her coffee cup at work. Uh, <laughs> this 
I'm like, where is this yo, from? Yo, That's we, a place, man. yo, we really have to get her a coffee mug that says that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure with y'all. I'm here. I'm sure I need a coffee I mug. I'm going to get you a customized oh Texas and Tangents hoodie with that shit on there. <laughs> on the back, it's going to say, it's sir. it's going to sell. What? Fuck with y'all, I'm here. If that shit's going to sell out. I'm going to get you an extra small That shit's going to sell out. We get your extra small medium hoodie. It's gonna say, Ooh. "I fucks with y'all." I'm here. All right, we're just bullying sir because we're Always. we're out of content this week. <laughs> yeah. it's it's week. Sorry. It's Either it's a little bit or it's a lot. This week is slower this than week most. Week is slow, so I'm not this got week the money to Slower than sit. most of the safeties at the combine. All right, oh, so God. finish your your take on Alabama and then we'll oh, yeah. move on. so former Auburn head coach, Texas Tech head coach, if I'm not mistaken, and Cincinnati head coach, Tommy Tuberville. And shout out to Ryan Mancini. I know you're probably listening to this, or you will soon. He is challenging for the vacate the vac the vacated se- uh, Senate seat of a one Jeff Sessions in Alabama. I'm gonna say that again. Tommy Tumberville, former, most notably known for his days at Auburn, head coach, former college football head coach, is challenging for the vacant seat. In- Senate seat in Alabama. Can you? Can, one more time. One more again. 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 I said Senate like one too many times. It's cool. All right. I got this. I got this, guys. I can do this. Is this how Pete feels? I'm sorry. I'm never going to make fun of Pete and his speech Ooh. impediments ever again. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not gonna look. I serve. Okay, CBS Newswire. <laughs> wow, that was that was cheap. So, former Auburn Tigers head coach Tommy Tuberville is running for the vacated Alabama senator seat that wow. was held by well the current vice president <laughs> Jeff Sessions. So you did a good job. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It, was I very to deliver, to deliver. it was very channel 38 You seem very concentrated That's It was very was channel 38 <laughs> <laughs> My camera's right here All right, with that, Let's go to the rants and close this I wasn't broadcast out. in case y'all forgot So you can go first sir I fuck with y'all I'm here right. <laughs> I was gonna really say that Fuck you anyway. I'm here I fuck with y'all I fuck with y'all because I'm here <laughs> I'm here because I fuck with y'all. And here I was trying to be peaceful, come in. Even if you weren't here, you'd still fuck with us. And I'm just going day by day. Just been busy. I know I've been like in and out. I don't know if you guys have been wondering where I've been. Probably not, but. They're wondering where the fuck my backwood is that you owe me. You (laughs) would. Right. My birthday is like three weeks okay. ago. So. One of these days, I'm going to come rolling in with a fat ass wood. Don't be having to smoke down to the nub. Don't do that. No. Don't be that person. No, we're going to smoke it together to the nub. And you're going to go halfway and be like, nah, I can't no more. And I'm like, nah. Remember, you said it on March 5th. Okay, so you're just remembering days now? Yeah. I have days. to remember days because of my job. So, I, like I said, I've been busy. Oh, so Sarah isn't a fed. Okay, cool. I'm not. A, that was a anyways, seasonal. It was a seasonal job. It's okay. It was my a seasonal bad. job. I had to. I had to hook up <laughs> wires, see what what people are doing. But other than that, I've been good. I just like I said, I've been busy, worn out. Um, possibly get my my brother might come down. Um, coming from up? Japan, and no, he won't be coming with coronavirus because I was like freaking out about that. But hopefully, he comes. If he doesn't, what not? Uh, I don't know if I are you going to be there this Sunday at the XFL game? Yes, I will be. I might be there because I wanted to see that game. I wanted to see those two uh, teams play. Show up early. The fan of the fan fest is really cool. It's really fun. Really, it's really dope. Okay, show up early. So I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna try to get the. Tickets, isn't it true? Like if you get tickets, like last minute, tickets like twenty five bucks. Okay, they're, they're mad dirt cheap, and no still... matter where you sit, it's a really good seat. Okay, all right. Well then, I probably the want to get my tickets. Sports, the digital health. Yeah, I was looking at the tickets. Park, I might. Stadium, I want to go. No, I'm going to go. It's not. I might go. I'm. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm looking forward to that, and yeah, and I'm gonna end it off with. <laughs> y'all ready? I hope y'all y'all ready. Hold on, I, 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 I want to make sure that I'm ready. 